myself a lot. So would that be classed as um, what well, being angry at myself? Yes. So how do I do I need to um, do I need to process that anger um, that I have towards myself or no? Uh, well, how do <laughs> okay? How do I get below that then? Well, it's a good thing you've asked this question because this is exactly the thing I'm working through the last two weeks. <laughs> So I can answer this one fairly well. What I found with myself was that I have huge amounts of self-punishment emotions, which are to do with, like in my case, I don't have the same intelligence as I used to have. I don't have the same body I used to have. I'm not as good in bed as I used to be. I'm not, like this is in terms of how you are in the spirit world, right? I'm not, um, I'm not as knowing about everything. I'm not in the space of love that I used to be in. I'm not in the space of knowing the truth that I used to know. Now, can you start to see that basically every area of my life is basically stuffed? That's how it feels. It feels like I've lost absolutely everything inside of myself, right? Absolutely everything I used to be, I'm not now. And by the way, many of you still project it at me, which is a my law of attraction. He can't be Jesus because he's not what I imagined Jesus to be, right? that often comes back at me as well. So I'm getting this huge projection from people on earth and also in the spirit world there's this large numbers of people uh, looking at me and saying, yeah, he's Jesus and he, he screwed up my life as well. Like, so there's all these spirits in the spirit world who are religious when they're on earth who thought they were practicing or following Jesus and they were actually following all these other people. And, and not me at all, but they blame it all on me and it's my fault, that's the way they feel. And so I take on all that as well. Does that make sense? So there's all this projection of anger and rage towards me. And on top of that, I know that I'm not the same person that I used to be. I know that I'm slowly getting back to the same person that I used to be. And, but I know that even my soulmate, when she first saw me, and I, I can understand this, when she first saw me, she said to me, Four days into our time together, then your babe, you said, you're not the same man I remember. I know it's you, but it's not the same man I remember. And so that emotion just gets getting triggered in me. I'm not as good as I used to be. I'm not as good as I used to be. So what happened was I always getting into self-punishment, like really anger with myself. So whenever I can't remember something that I used to be able to remember and I know the answer to somewhere there, and yet I can't remember the answer. I get frustrated and angry with myself and get really down with myself about processing emotions sometimes and very angry with myself, as Mary will attest to, about when I've had an emotion that I've had over years, you know. I'm very angry about different parts of my body not being healed yet and why they're not healed and really upset about all those things. So all of that is really anger with self. Does that make sense? Now you have many of these same emotions, right? Where you're not as good as you want to be, you know, you're not as intelligent as you want to be, you're not as good looking as you wanted to be, you know, you don't have the body that you wanted, you know, or you lost it or whatever, all these different things. Now, anger with self is just as damaging to yourself emotionally and in some ways I feel perhaps even more so, than anger with others. Right? Now what's under the anger with self is fear of self. Does that make sense? And what's under fear of self is, what do you think? Um, Grief. What, what exactly do you mean fear of self? I'm afraid to really see myself as I truly am right now because when I look at myself as I truly am right now, I'm just a shell of what I used to be. Does that make sense? And for many people, they feel the same way, right? As you grow older, a lot of times you feel these emotions like you wished you were 20 again or 21 again. Mind you, you wish that with, your, with all of the things you learnt over the last, you know, now that you're 50, but you still think, that it would be nice to have the body of the 20-year-old. And, you know, many, many of you ladies, when you see a, a nice young woman walk past you, you feel a bit of jealousy come up. <laughs> I wish I had that body, you know what I mean? Like, 
in my current state, that would be wonderful. That's all just a fear of looking at yourself in the end. And under the fear of seeing yourself is the terrible grief you feel. And what I've found is that if I can stay in this place here, I can release causal emotion really rapidly. But if I get out of this place and start getting afraid of this grief, then I straight away kick into the anger with self and I can get really harsh on myself in that place, really angry and upset with myself. Right? And in the past, in my progression, I've, I've even hit myself or punched myself in that state. Right? Taken to an extreme, it can take you to a suicide, that emotion. Um, so I have problems with recognising whether or not I'm in a causal emotion or you know, whatever else above that. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, actually, I don't really even need to ask this question, but I could just pray to God about it, you know. Yeah, that's true. Um, that you could. Yeah. Um, all, all I've done is this. All I've done is I've focused on, all right, I'm angry with myself. I am in avoidance. Why am I in avoidance? Because I'm afraid of feeling this grief. So my best choice is to actually start feeling the grief to start feeling the grief about myself, what I don't like about myself. But instead of being angry about it, crying about it, grieving it. All right. So in my case, like, I've, I've had to cry about how unattractive I feel com compared, like, for Mary. So, so whenever I think about it, I allow myself to think about it. And instead of, what I used to do was punish myself for it. Like, so, I'd, so I'd be really upset with myself about it, get really angry with myself about it. What I do now when I feel that emotion is I just grieve it. Um, we watched the Travelers, Time Traveler's Wife movie. Who's seen the Time Traveler's Wife? Good movie. It's been really good for myself and Mary. We were both really triggered in the movie and Mary was sobbing through most of it. There's a lot of our life in that movie and... Uh, and so, you know, there was a lot of emotions for us to work through. And we were severely disappointed we couldn't go and get a video and, <laughs> and go home straight away and process some more. And we got kicked out of the movie theatre processing. But anyway. <laughs> um, um, but the, it was just so good because it had a lot of emotions in it that, that connected me with this terrible feeling that I had about myself. Um, in one, in one scene, the, lady, the, the, the wife says to the husband, do you think that anybody would want to choose a life that I'm living with you? Right? And that just got me like completely done <laughs> because that, that's how I feel inside of myself, that nobody in their right minds would ever choose to be my partner and to live the life that, that you know, I'm, I'm faced with living, basically. And uh, so that's an emotion I feel about myself. Does that make sense? But I don't often want to feel that grief and so I get angry with myself about what I am instead of just crying about what I am. But what I'm finding now, now that I'm in this space, it's really quite, I can feel myself working through the emotions quite rapidly now because of it, rather than being in this place. Ivana, can I just add as well as, as those things, um, at times I've gotten into anger with myself because I've seen that I've done something that's unloving um, and in my family if, some, if I punish myself then I'm less likely to be punished by someone else um, and so I would get into this punishing thing but this whole anger with self and self-punishment was keeping me very, very far away from the causal reason why I'd take the un I had taken the unloving action. Do you know what I mean by that? Um, yeah, yeah. So that's just another thing to keep in mind if you're getting angry with yourself a lot. That really helped me. Um, in the end, it's still grief about yourself, but it's not necessarily um, as smooth sailing from the, from the top to the bottom because there's a lot of vested interest within ourselves to avoid the reasons why we want to be unloving. Yeah. Um, so if, I'm, if I release... Well, uh, no, actually, if I stop being angry with myself, does that mean that I'll automatically um, have less anger towards other people as well? 
Um, probably not, <laughs> because, because anger with self and anger with other people come from different sources of grief. And so anger with self generally is fear about yourself. Anger with others is usually fear about um, what they're triggering inside of or reminding yourself of yourself. But, it, but at the end of the day, there's also a causal reason why we get angry with others that's different to a reason of why we get angry with ourselves. Our desire to get angry with others is about not wanting to take personal responsibility for our life and that's something that we often have a heightened sense of doing when we get angry with ourselves. So they come from the two flip, they're the flip side of the same emotion, I suppose you could say. Anger with self is because we don't want to feel our grief. Anger with others is because we still don't want to feel our grief. But anger with others comes from this additional injury that we want to blame another person for our grief. Right? Whereas, uh, whereas uh, for myself, that's never been a major trouble. I've always focused on me being to blame for anything that's inside of me. Um, whereas a lot of times when we get angry with others, what we're doing is we're focusing on them being to blame for what's inside of me or what's being triggered in me. Does that make sense? There's a big so there's an additional emotion, that's what I'm saying, that creates <laughs> anger with others that isn't there when we create anger with self. And I had, um, in terms of the anger with others, I had a really powerful experience with repentance about that. Um, so I just um, uh, was triggered by something and I, I went into a state of being really repentant about feeling what my anger does to other people and talking to God about that. And since then, I'm not going to say that I never get angry anymore, but I, I noticed a really big difference around that. Mm. Yeah. Cool.